In this video, we are going to learn how to import the CSV file into our MySQLite database. So let's just get started. The first thing that we have to do is to create the folder for the project. So I'm going to give a name of CSV. Now let me open my text editor and open that folder. CSV. Okay. And now here we have to create the first file and we will have to save it with the name of index.php. Open my browser go to the local host csv and hit it okay so far we don't have anything here let's just create okay so the first thing that we have to do is to create the basic html structure we will gonna give the title of csv and we will gonna say this is the index page save it go back refresh yeah there we go okay and we need a form to select the file for importing it. So I was gonna say form and the method would be post and ink type multiparts slash form data. Okay, the second thing is we need the input and the type would be file and name would be file as well. And the submit button, input type submit, name would be sub and the value would be import pool save it go back refresh okay here we have our form so we can select the file from here and then import it we haven't made that functionality yet so we're gonna do it in a bit so what we have to do actually first we have to create our database we have to go to our php my admin and we have to create the new database and we will gonna say csv and the table name would be file the first one would be id as usual and it will be auto increment yep and we can say first name it would be varchar 255 and last name it would be again varchar and 255 and we can say age it would be integer that's all we need we're going to make it simple not very complex so you can understand now we have our database all we have to do is to connect it to our project we will going to use the object oriented programming in our project so we will have to create the class in order to access the database and do the other functionality so i'm gonna have to create new file here and we will gonna say csv.php it will be the file where we will put all our logic so we have to create the class and class name would be csv as usual and we will gonna extend this class with the mysqli class that by default available in php so we will perform all the mysqli functionality within this class so as soon as glass object will construct we will have to automatically connect our database with it for argument we don't need any argument in here we will have to use the parent as you know the parent constructor we have to access the parent constructor in order to connect the database so localhost as a host user is root by default password is none and the database name is csv if you remember now we have to check if this connect error if there is an error while connecting then echo fail to connect to database and we can actually append the error that come from mysqli so in order to get the error we have to say this connector so that's all for the constructor save it first we have to include our file and the name is csv csv.php now we have included our file here we will gonna say csv is equals to new csv and that's it save it go back and refresh so far we don't have any error let's change the access detail and see what happened you see we got the error because we used the wrong username fail to connect database access deny for user see so far we are good save it back refresh okay now we have to get the file and proceed toward importing the file into database so for that we have to first capture the file well in order to capture the file what we have to do we have to set the condition if it's set and what we're going to use the post global variable because we are getting the file from the post method so we have to use the post and we were gonna say 
sub if the button of this sub in the post method will click then we will have to get the file so first i will word them the file it's again the global variable that php provide to handle the files and i will gonna use the name file which we assign here and see what happened save it go back here refresh and let's select the file probably i have one csv file here there you go let me copy this one go into csv paste it here and let's open it import you see we got the file it is saying name csv and you know the random string dot csv and type temp name and everything size everything so we are good so we got the file here now we have to proceed what actually we have to do with the file we have to import it into our database so in order to do that we're going to access our class object and we're going to say import this file 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 is the name and temporarily php store the file itself into temp name the entire file is stored temporary in the temp name so we will access the entire file content using file temp name save it go to our csv file and let's create that function it's a public function and i forgot to add the public here as well we're gonna give the name of this function import and we have one argument file now what we have to do we will we will have to open the file and then read its content step by step in order to do that let me just create one variable i will gonna say file is equals to f open it's another php function which opens the file and then we will use the temp name file to access it and we're gonna say r r means read the file it have multiple options like write append and so on and so on we're not going to discuss that now we stick with the r and it will return the step by step reading of file so we can use a while loop here and we can say raw is equals to we have another function in php f get csv what this function do this function read the data from the open file and now var dump the raw and let's see what will happen save it go back if you see now it is war dumbing the thing let me first open this file and show you what's the content that we have in this file okay now as you can see we have three columns and two rows for us a pass 24 the age first ali abbas and age is 19. let me do a bit better thing here print r so you can read it in a better way print so html tag that display the array result in proper way so now if i again refresh you see in a nice way as you can see i told you it read raw by raw so first of all we have three columns for us Abbas and then 24 then the second row we have Ali Abbas in 19 so we are so far going great no need for that now so like as you can see we have raw as a array and then column as a sub array inside it so this is how we can access it we can say value and in here let me do this and then I will explain implode is the PHP function a very great function I really like it and i will explain what it do in a bit and you know what let me also get this back so you can understand better save it go back refresh again hold on a second yeah i'm sorry i have to print it here okay now let me explain what implode did you see this is the array of first row and this is the array of second row what implode did implode convert this array structure into a string with single quote around every value and separated by a comma isn't that great in this case we have a string of each value wrapped by a single quote and separated by a comma you see same thing here and let me explain how it did first of all let me just remove these things so you can understand better what implode do implode actually convert the array into a string and this section right here is the argument for this function and this ask what separation do you need so in that case let me first just give you a basic and common knowledge let's say only a comma so every single field in the array will be separated by a comma and this is our array as you know let me save it go back 
refresh and you see first value for us and then comma second value and comma and then third value there is no value after that so there is no comma as well this is how implode work now instead of that what we need in order to store the value in database as you know that values always stored in the database in double quotes or single quotes so it is useless for us so we have to put individual values wrapped by a quote so what we did we said separate each value with single quote comma single quote and let's see how it's show now you see it plays quote right here you see but still we have a very first quote and the very last quote missing so to solve this problem what we just did we simply use the static code and save the entire expression into the value save it go back you see now we got the form that we need probably you now understand it now after that what we have to do we have to run the query here dollar q is equals to insert into what was the name file the table name and there was four columns id first last and age we don't need to do anything for the id it's auto increment the second one was first then last and then each values and as you know it is stored in quotes so you know we have all proper set formatted values here all we have to do to place it here that's it nothing else and let's see how it look to make you feel comfortable go back refresh and you see insert into file the database table first last and age values is for us a pass 24 this is one query and this is another query we will run the query step by step so now that's good we have to first check this query as it is the mysqli function to run the query we will place the query here and if it will run then our values will be stored in database else it will not right now we don't have any uh, validation to check whether it is saved or not so what we will gonna do we will create a property here it will be private and we will gonna say state csv and by default it will be false now if only if the query will run perfectly we will going to say this state csv true else make it false as usual and throw the error as well it will be it will be the error from my sqli save it and first let me show you we don't have anything in here so as soon as i will hit go refresh it you see we got our file data here isn't that great we have successfully imported but we haven't got any notification here and you know what let's just remove this here after a while because there will be multiple rows so the insertion will go again and again until the while will run so we can't actually uh, show the message that it is done uh, it it have some error so instead of that we have to you know finalize the entire insertion and then we can decide so even if a single a single insertion will go wrong we will have to show the user that it's you know it has some problem it didn't work perfectly so that's why we use this variable here so even if a single one will go false it will become a false so now we have to set the if condition if this let me just copy this if this is true it's mean all good we have to echo successfully imported otherwise else we can say something went wrong save it go back select the file again successfully imported okay refresh and you see we got another insertion here cool so the import thing has been done in next video we're gonna come and discuss and learn the export so stay tuned take care for now bye bye